Hey guys, um, so we've had several frosts and right now I'm digging up this Don Shen, which is pretty young. They're maybe a year old now. Some people wait till they're three years old um, to harvest, but basically what I'm gonna do, look at this gorgeous red along the roots here. And um, a good portion of this bed is all Don Shen. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna clip these big, roots off or bigger roots and then I will replant it and I can go through this whole patch oh look at this oh yes this feels like dynamite down here <laughs> I'm gonna need the fork for this one but there is a bunch or there are more roots in here that are falling off as we do this so um, basically as long as we're harvesting some of the roots we're leaving some and we can replant it and you know in a few years this will be so abundant um, for us but this is just the beginning of this patch and we really used on Shen for the mast cell stuff and keeping the histamines down or um, if my husband eats food that he normally knows he has a reaction to he'll take the Don Shen and Rishi and he doesn't have the reaction so um, this is definitely a plant that we have come to really love and rely upon for symptom ease. So, Don Shen after frost. Oh, and, um, and Buner says to, um, I'll wash these off and then I will dry them in the light in the greenhouse. Um, one of the rare plants that when exposed to light and heat, um, it's transformed and, um, and then I'll tincture from there with the dried root. Um, Stephen Buhner gives instructions not to tincture this fresh and that the drying process is really important. Thanks guys, that's the report from January 2019. <laughs>